the hill in one of the most storied entrances in all of college football. Death Valley, Clemson, South Carolina, home to the Tigers since 1945. Little gets the blood boiling, quite like a rivalry game. Barbs, shots, trash talk, things that go on throughout the week will now all be settled on this field. As we'll see the number one team in the country, the Georgia Bulldogs, taking on the 17th ranked team in the land, the Clemson Tigers. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, let's get this thing started. Georgia likely to kick it deep to get things started. And it'll be a touchback. The ball will come out to the 25-yard line. So Clemson's offense is on the field for the first time today. And the adrenaline is pumping on overdrive in games like this, guys. And it's crucial to get your emotions under control. No doubt. In rivalry games, you've got to limit the mental errors and you've got to limit the penalties because those will kill you, Bob. And you've got to come out under control. It means so much. We know that. The fans are all talking about it. But it's just football. Not what they had in mind to start this drive. Here comes second and 13. To the air, it's Klubnik. Good timing on the quick out. They make the stop, but the sweet throwing catch is plenty to give them a first down. QB, excellent location on that throw. Out route against man coverage, you cannot miss. If you throw that behind, that might be a pick six. So nice job by the quarterback with his accuracy. Clemson jumps to the line. Out of the gun, the give to the back. Got the first down, looking for more. They've got it to the 49-yard line, and they'll move the chain. Really nice run there. This guy's so exciting to watch when he's out in the open field. Kind of reminds me of old Clemson greats like C.J. Spiller and Travis Etienne. When they got into the second level, you just held your breath because you thought there was a chance they could break it off for a touchdown. This guy has that same dynamic playmaking ability. Caught over the middle. It's Brown. And oh, he was off to the races after the catch, and they finally drag him down. We see another catch by this guy. This defense is going to need to do a better job of tackling the catch. In coverage, I know they want to slap the ball away, but if you can't do it and force the incompletion, you've got to at least make sure you're able to drag him down to the ground as soon as he catches the ball. To the air on first down. And this will be incomplete. A big hit there forces second down. The biggest lie college football coaches tell is nameless, faceless opponent. David, game like this, you know their name and you know their face. <laughs> you know them well, and it does mean just a little bit more because it's bragging rights. Like, the rivalries matter so much. All throughout the year, all the fans talking about this game in particular, that's why it means more, and that's why these players will be jacked out of their minds. The defense playing zone coverage there. They're taking away all of the QB's primary options down the field, so he has to check it down to the drag running underneath. Coming to the line, looking for that first down on third and short from the 29. He'll just keep slinging it. Catch in the middle, it's Mafa. And the defense able to drag him down, but not before. They'll recycle that down marker. Listen, running backs are not just running backs anymore. You're going to be a wide receiver in today's football. And a great job sneaking out of the backfield, getting the football, letting them get some positive yards. The Tigers will snap it on first and ten. The give from the gun. And this one will be stopped for no gain. That DB had a different story. He had something to say. Coming up, making a physical tackle. Stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. Back to throw. It's Klubnik. He's moving out of the pocket. He'll pull it down. On the run, and he'll slide to avoid the hit. A nifty pickup there. 
Yeah, I think you're just seeing the experience this guy has, right? He's so poised. And initially, he's flushed out of the pocket. Nothing's open. And he doesn't panic. He's not throwing it away. He's not sliding early. He just knows where the defense isn't. And he's able to attack that space with his speed and get a positive play. In the gun and looking to throw on third down. The quick out. He is tackled, but it'll be a fresh set of downs. That is so deflating on defense, too, because in your own red zone, third down, you need to make a stop. You know they're going to throw to the weapon at tight end, but it's one thing to draw it up on the blackboard. It's another thing to go execute and prevent that guy from catching the ball. He's so big. He's so athletic. You could have the perfect play call on, and he's still picking up the first. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. That back had nowhere to go. The defensive line ate up the blocks, but how about the linebackers swarming in, coming in and making a great play on the ball carry? Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. The run up the middle here, looking for a path to the end zone. And with the stuff there, Jesse, on second down, this little third to mid-range, you got two downs. What are you thinking here? Maybe getting your quarterback out on the perimeter and giving him a run-pass option. See if you can get the defense in a bind. Well, they've gotten it down to the three, but now it's third and goal. From the gun, wants to pass. Still moving to his right, trying to make a big play. They won't let him in. He had a nose for that end zone, but he will be stopped short. What a third down stop by this defense. Third down and goal, no problem. You know that guy. Every time he touches the football, you hold your breath because he's so dynamic at the quarterback spot. They were ready, and they forced the fourth and goal. Dropping back, it's Klubnik. He makes the catch in the end zone. Touchdown, Tigers. And that is what a team of this caliber is expected to do, right? They've got the better number beside their name by all the metrics, by a talent standpoint, coaching standpoint. They're the superior team, and they just drove the ball in the first possession of the game, and they looked like it, scoring a touchdown and asserting their dominance. point and it's seven nothing to start this one that is what they mean when they say ball control a 14 play touchdown drive and it was finished off with a two yard touchdown toss the kickoff team on the field as they'll send this one away he'll start the return inside his five he was hoping for something a little more dynamic that they get him on the ground at the 20. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. You can barely hear yourself thinking here as they're trying to get this defense off to a good start. Power football with the run. Got enough for the first, and he's still going. And he found plenty of running room on that one before the defense was finally able to get him down. Well, it's an electrifying run. And you think about the tradition at the running back position for the Bulldogs. Herschel Walker into his Heisman Trophy. No Sean Marino. And how about this? Todd Gurley, Nick Chubb, and Sony Michelle all there at the same time. I bet this guy could have gotten to that rotation, though, because he's got those types of skills. Not a lot of daylight. He gets one to the 32. We had a barn burner the last time these two teams played, and no reason to expect anything else between these two bitter rivals. Attention to detail, and I think a sense of urgency, David, in a game like this just goes way up. And I think managing the emotions in these type of games, you, you know last year was a classic. Now you're trying to form this year's identity of this team and go out and get a win in a big-time rivalry game. That's an absolute strike right there, giving me some Stetson Bennett vibes, some Aaron Murray vibes, even Matthew Stafford with the arm talent on that throw. I'll tell you, they can attack any spot of the field in the passing game because of this guy's talent. And the dogs getting set on first and ten. On the run, it's ETN. And the ball's loose in the backfield. Defense just cradling that fumble and securing it. 
own. It's a hit like that that will absolutely light up the sideline, light up the stadium, change the momentum, and help you win a football game because that hit is what caused that fumble. Clemson ready to dial up some ball plays. They've got it on offense. That last drive, an absolute aerial assault for the touchdown, Jesse. But it was a nice job in play calling, too, David, just giving the quarterback some easy looks and reads so he could go out and execute. And he knew exactly where to go with the football. Everything looked really, really easy. He was hot. The ball was coming out of his hands. The defense better do something different. We've come to the end of the quarter, and Clemson has the lead. And after that first quarter, let's see if these guys can get back in the game in the second. We'll get this quarter going with a second down play. On the run, it's Klubnik. Not in lockstep there with the receiver. Yeah, a nice job by the defense understanding who their go-to guy is. That's the guy they want to feature. That's the guy they want to feed with good reason. He's a great player, but a great job by the defense taking away that primary read, making sure they don't make a big play. Now facing a third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. Can't make the connection on third down thanks to that tough, hard-nosed pass defense, and now it's fourth down. It's so nice when you know it's third and long, you know a pass is coming, you worked on it all week, get your feet set at the sticks, understand that quarterback's got to be rushed, get him off of his spot. Nice execution by this defense. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Return goes out of bounds. And Georgia ready to go back to work on offense. When you're playing from behind, you can't afford to give it up the way they did the last drive, David. No doubt. You cannot give the football away. Again, turnovers are the biggest stats in winning and losing games. You're behind, Palmer. Take care of the ball, but we got to go get a score here. Yeah, and they just got to do a better job executing. I like the game plan so far for them, but they just need to go out and do a better job connecting the dots. I love when my wide receiver sees the coverage, sits it down, understands its zone, runs the curl, catches the ball, and then gets upfield and gets some positive yards. Starting this drive like that is exactly what they had hoped for. Now first and ten from the 40. Used to play fake. Now to throw. Finds his tight end. And a good job in coverage there as they stop it after just a few. A nice job by the defense there tackling the catch and smothering the tight end. They know this offense is going to try to find him in the passing game in a lot of different situations. That time, perfect coverage, and nice job bringing the big guy down. Not easy to do. Got the completion on the last play. Still some work to do on second down. Leads it with the back. Nice, solid form tackle from this sophomore. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. Off the bootleg, wants to toss it. Throwing right. Wide open downfield. And he strides his way into the end zone. Touchdown, Bulldogs! And what a nice start for this offense. The throw game getting working, getting the touchdown pass. This quarterback getting a little bit of confidence. This passing game getting in a rhythm. Nice start for this offense. They'll try to tack one more on their score. Blitz the uprights. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And they cover the final 54 yards with the explosive play in the passing game for six. After that latest answer, tied things up, just about set to kick it away again. 
What kind of field position can he help them with on the return? Pulled down at the 18, and the decision to bring it out of the end zone was not a good one. Clemson has their paws on it, and they'll send out the offense. The run from the shotgun. Smashes through. Out across the 20 to the 21-yard line, a three-yard gain. Yeah, a lot of times you want those big plays. You want those splash plays, but sometimes you're going to take some losses. You're not going to run the football overly well, but... If you continue to run it, you can at least create some balance. You at least have the threat of it. Otherwise, you're just going to abandon it, and now it's just going to be a passing game. The give on the inside. Followed that blocking and got five out to the 26. Just a simple power play. Again, not sexy. Run the ball up the middle. Physicality. Offensive line needs to assert themselves. Run block, which they love to do. This pays dividends down the road in the fourth quarter. Now looking for that first down on third and short from the 26. Off play action. Quickly to the tight end. Really confident throw and catch there. Big pickup, and they have a first down. Well, it's a nice job, too, of the quarterback after the play fake there, getting his eyes down the field. He had to get that to his tight end quickly, knowing he wasn't going to have a lot of space to run with after the catch. Clemson ready to go back to work with another first down. Leaves it with the back. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. Most offensive schemes are predicated on first down productivity. That will not go down as a productive first down play. No, it will not, Reese. Give this defensive line credit because they were able to get penetration right off the snap and force a negative play. Couldn't get him blocked on that last one. Now it's second and 14. Nice move to keep running. Good pickup on the ground, and they'll mark him down at the 39. And runs like that are like body blows in a boxing match. Four, five, six-yard gains early turn into 20, 30, 40-yard gains later. They really wear down defenses, and they test their physicality. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. And a missed opportunity on third down as the defense knocks it free and fourth down is coming up. Love the effort on defense that time. That looked like that was going to be a completion downfield, but the physicality of the defender jarred the ball loose. Clemson will send the punt team out. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. He'll call for the fair catch here. We're ready to get another look at this Bulldog offense. This could be a real turning point in the game. They scored a touchdown. They got a stop. And now a chance to break the tie. Yeah, this offense has got him cooking, man. And how about the defense? Great job getting that stop, getting the football right back to the hot hand. Now this offense, Palmer, has a chance to take the lead. You can see the offense, too. They understand the situation right now. They were jonesing on the sidelines to get another opportunity to run back on the field. They are ready to drive this ball and go score. Wide receiver now comes in motion. Trying play action. Got a man. It's ETN. He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there. Still a bit short of the first down. Guys at the backfield now. It's not just run the ball down the field anymore. You've got to be versatile. I've got to be able to trust you in the pass game. And i got to be able to throw you the football. You can do that right there. I know you're going to catch it. And I can defend it. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. Oh, they really could have used that catch there. Physical pass defense. It brings up a fourth down. Defense did a great job. Third and short on the opponent's side of the field. They're expecting quick throw. Everybody, they dug their heel on the ground. They're able to break on the ball, force the incompletion. Georgia sends out the punt team. Makes a move. And he'll work his way on the return out to the 35-yard line before he stops. Clemson ready to dial up some ball plays. They've got it on offense. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. So you get stuffed on first down. You had an idea of what you wanted to do on second, but I'm guessing it's back to the drawing board now. Yeah, you, you got to figure out who you are and what you are. Uh, what's your next best play? Or... What is the defense going to do? Have they been aggressive? Okay, well, if they've been aggressive, 
I'm going to throw that deep ball. If they've been sitting back, I might sneak a draw in here. Line getting set on second down. Looking for a man. It's Klubnik. That pass is incomplete, and they're probably fortunate that it wasn't knocked three for a fumble. Well, he didn't have a whole lot of time to get rid of that one. The defense was all over him right after the snap. No wonder that thing fell in. A third and long coming up here. From the gun, wants to pass. Complete to the right. Plenty of room on that play, and they find their way to the 36. That's what's so scary about this offense. They've got guys in the perimeter that can change the game in one single play, and you saw it right there. Too much speed on the perimeter to create that explosive play. That kind of play will send a surge of energy through your offense. Now they've got it first and 10 inside the 40. Forced out of the pocket. And he has a solid gain on the play before sliding. And you see a lot of quarterbacks get in trouble when they start forcing things. He did a really good job. He wanted to throw the football. You could tell drops back, nothing open. It's okay. I'm just going to take off, get what I can get. Offense gets set for second down. He's looking to throw. Gets it out quickly. Excellent job working through the air there, finding a hole in that defense and picking up a first down. They pick up the first down on the drag route. And good job by the receiver knowing it was man coverage. If he's looking, he's booking. He gave his quarterback the eyes right away that says, hey, I'm not stopping. Put it out in front of me. I'm getting this first down. Here comes Clemson with another first down. From the red zone, looking for a receiver. He's got it. They'll get him stopped just short of the end zone, but they're in business here with the first down. The offense uses a timeout to stop the clock, and they'll get a quick breather. They'll dial up the run on first and goal. And he's going to take it to the house. Touchdown, Clemson! And that is exactly what you want from your offense. Man, late in the half, you want to execute and then punch it in physically on the ground. Take the lead going into the half. Take all the momentum. Nice execution of the drive by that offense. Lining up to tack one more on the map. And the extra point is true, and they're on top by seven. They put together a 65-yard drive for the score. And it was closed out by the short yardage touchdown. The kickoff team out there getting set. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. And Georgia ready to go back to work on offense. Using the back as a receiver on the screen. And the defense settled in to stop that one for a short game. Well, he comes up with the reception, but not a lot of room to run after that. Yeah, and I like the QB doing this. I mean, I'm going to find ways to give him the football and see if he can make a miss. And I'm going to bet most of the time that my guy is a little bit more athletic than that defensive guy. Defense won this battle, but... I like trying to get this guy the ball in space. Pass is incomplete, and half comes to a close on that play. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. Thanks so much, guys. And I need not tell you, rivalry games always bring out a ton of emotion. And no surprise, we saw just that in the first half today. And I get it. A lot of coaches will say the difference between winning and losing comes down to stopping big plays and getting big plays. But if you ask me, it's more about how good you are on third down and how efficient you are in keeping drives alive. Those two stats can help you break the will of even the best defenses and help you come out on top. With that, let's throw it back to the guys to see how this rivalry matchup plays out. And the Tigers will kick it away to start the second half. 
on the run from inside his own five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic that they get him on the ground at the 20. We're ready to get another look at this Bulldog offense. They got a lot done through the air in the first half, and they might need even more production here in the second. I think they will, Reese, and, and I think this is an offense that has proven they're playing with good timing right now. They've got some matchups where they're winning one-on-one, -on -one, and they're just going to have to keep going back to the well, David, and relying on hitting some explosive plays to win this game. Yeah, and I think we look at numbers naturally, and, and they're losing. So that's the most important thing on the scoreboard, but they have had success, and so... What do you do? You keep playing pitch and catch. You got to score, but you got to talk to your defense. I need some stops. I need the football back quickly so we can do some more damage. The run game just has not been working for this offense all game long. We saw it on that last play as well. Just not getting enough push up front on the offensive line. They haven't been physical. Better find the earplugs. Here comes the noise. Backing this defense on third down. Throws to the wideout. A strike downfield. He's off to the races. The 20. And he's still on his feet, but finally out of bounds after a terrific run. Big play in the running game for this offense. This dude is just exceptional in every facet. So fluid, such a great route runner, and a big play there. And money down, third down, find him. I mean, you want to find that matchup because he's going to win. And gets a good release, gets down the field. You see his, that's your playmaker, that's your guy. Get it to him, get the first down. This crowd knows they have to bring it in big moments, and one of those has arrived. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. That linebacker saw the express lane right to the ball carry. And a great job by the defensive line getting some push, making them use their resources on him. Linebacker comes free. Boom, and making the back field for a tackle for a loss. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. Right back to him on the ground. Baird is trying to bash it forward. He got a couple. It's down at the 11. You know the way they're playing up front. Remember that season Vic Beasley had in 2013? He had a couple of tackles for loss seven times that season. That's pretty good. And, and listen, the defense hasn't looked much different over the years. These guys, new names, new cast of characters, but they all play aggressive. They all play quick off of the ball. They all hustle to the football. And you can tell, just make it very hard for you to create any kind of run game. Really nice third down sub defense there at that time. It's third and long. They're expecting pass. They're mixing up their looks. They're trying to change the picture pre-snap to post-snap to confuse the quarterback. Now forcing the incompletion setting up for it. They'll try to get something out of this drive and kick the field goal here on fourth down. That is no good. After that miss, still a seven-point game, guys. Well, that's one the kicker would like to have back. That's a kick he should be making in his sleep. Clemson has their paws on it, and they'll send out the offense. How about that last drive? Just carved him up in the air, David. Yeah, and how about that quarterback? You gave him the ball, and he delivered the goods. Great job taking apart the defense, Jesse, on that last drive. He really did, David. I mean, that was a master class in just reading coverage and being accurate. Still at their own 20 after that last incompletion. It's second and 10. Wide out in motion. They'll go back to the air on second down. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. And he's to the 48-yard line. That'll be good enough for a first down. This has been a staple of the offense at Clemson. Get those big receivers, let them make plays downfield, and it's been very effective over the years. 
Yeah, and good quarterback play obviously helps, but when you've got good matchups on the outside, it kind of makes the defense very predictable. Like, I got to give help. Okay, it helps my running game. You don't give help. Okay, I'm throwing to my freak out wide. So I think these guys on the outside with all that speed definitely are a problem for defenses. Unloads to the wide out. That one never had a chance. Incomplete. Well, on that incompletion, the quarterback and receiver just not on the same page. I mean, that wasn't even close. Let's see if they go back to the air after the incompletion. Second and ten from the 48. Running back searching for a hole. A run up the middle is stuck for no gain. Great job by the defense. Everybody firing on the ball, hitting their guys, holding their gaps, running to the football, nowhere to go. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. Back to throw, it's Klubnik. He'll get rid of it. Just too much juice on that one as he airmails his receiver out of bounds. Every defense in the country talks about getting offenses in predictable third and long situations where I can bring on more speedsters and I know the pass is coming so I can have more success. So Clemson is lining up to punt this one away. Special teams coming through as they pin them back. They'll mark it dead at the 10. And Georgia ready to go back to work on offense. Out of the gun. The inside handoff to the running back. He'll bounce his way ahead for a pickup of four out to the 14. It's just so nice to know you can start off on first down with positive plays. Positive yards, hand the football off, set up a good second down. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. Quick strike complete. And they make the tackle, but he has plenty for the first down. One of the most difficult things about this slot receiver is his shiftiness and his athleticism. He's very, very difficult to tackle after the catch. Ball spotted at the 21. It's first down. Looking to move it through the air. And that's just a flat misfire, not even close to his receiver. After the misfire, now on second down. They'll run play action. Just a short pass to the tight end. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down mark. Coming into this one, I thought this guy was going to be a monster. He was going to put up huge numbers. We know this is a big part of the offense week in, week out. The defense has done a great job clamping down on him. That is only his second catch so far in this game. Back to pass, it's back. Fires to the middle. And that's incomplete. A defender all over him. Knocked the ball to the ground. Fourth down coming up. Well, after struggling so much in the first half, he thought they would have made some adjustments here at halftime to see if they can open up this passing game. But early on in the second half, they're just not really able to get that done. Incompletion on third down in your own end. You're expecting them to punt. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. No return coming here. Fair catch is signal for and made just shy of the 30. Clemson ready to dial up some ball plays. They've got it on offense. Snags a quick pass on the left. Out across the 30 to the 39 after getting 10 on that one. They'll snap it from the 39, first and 10. On the ground, it's Mafa. Nowhere to run on that when he loses four on the carry. And not much running room. He had to break a tackle and still break another tackle to try to get back to the line of scrimmage. Not good blocking on the play. 
But that's what coaches always emphasize, too. Never assume a teammate's going to make the tackle. You run to the ball, and they did it there. Well, 100%, especially guys that are so big and strong and elusive nowadays. They're going to break tackles. Keep swarming, keep hitting them. Next guy, don't... Oh, it's loose! Defense swarming on that loose ball. It'll be a turnover. And he had an opportunity there to make something out of nothing, but things just got sideways and the ball came free. I just like the effort on defense, okay? They couldn't get to the quarterback initially in the pocket. He starts scrambling, and they don't quit. You saw all of the effort of everybody pursuing the QB, catching up to him, and then creating the fumble. Awesome job. We're ready to get another look at this Bulldog offense. After a punt on their last possession, they are set up in plus territory this time. And honestly, it wouldn't have mattered if they scored a touchdown in their last possession. You've got to be able to turn the page and see this is a brand new opportunity to go get points. Yeah, and your defense has set you up for the position to get points right away. Now, let's get this offense back rolling again, create some momentum, just get a few first downs, and I'm in scoring position. Inside the 25, they'll snap it from the 24. First down. Grabbed in the backfield. It's dealt. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. That throw and catch, a really good example of why coaches don't want a quarterback to get stuck on a particular target, isn't it, David? Yep, that's exactly right. Find the guy who's open because you got so many guys that have so much speed that can do so much damage on the field. Find my matchup, get it to him, let him do the rest. Diving for the score, and the ball's loose! And the defense jumps on him, they get that turnover. One final play before the end of the quarter. From the gun, leaves it on the inside with the back. Defense makes the tackle, and that will probably be the final play of the third quarter. We've come to the end of the quarter, and Clemson has the lead. They've done the work to build a nice cushion. Now to bring it home as we check out the stats after three quarters. Not only is the scoreboard on their side, but so too is time as we open the fourth. Back to throw, it's Klubnik. Not quite in rhythm there, incomplete. Uh, missed opportunity on offense. QB and receiver just not on the same page there. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. On third and long, he has to throw for it. He's got an open man. And with that effort, they pick up a fresh set of downs. They have it at the 34-yard line. And the quarterback knew exactly where he wanted to go the football. Had time, spins the ball deep. Nice job by this offense, understanding what the defense has given them and creating an explosive play. Clemson is quick to the line. And that incomplete pass caused by the big hit on first down, second down coming. I love the quick decision that QB made there on that RPO, knowing he wanted to get it out of his hands fast. He just needs to make a more accurate throw moving forward. The incomplete pass leaves him with second down. He's got it on the right, and they'll shove him out of bounds after the short game. Well, that's great timing by the quarterback and receiver on that out route. If you're going to be running that against man coverage like they were there, that ball has to be thrown early, and it's got to be thrown out in front of the receiver, and they execute it perfectly. How bold will they be on third down after that last run? From the gun, wants to pass. Dances away from the heat. Keeps it and gets the first down. And a nice pickup on the run and gets down to avoid contact. I mean, these quarterbacks nowadays can run so fast. Think about who you've got chasing him. 
Defensive linemen, those big old defensive tackles, defensive ends, linebackers, they can't catch him because they're faster than them nowadays. So much speed, so much electricity now with these guys. Off the play fake on first down. And you just don't expect your junior quarterback to get fooled and to throw it into double coverage like that. Well, things have gone pretty well so far, right? You got the lead, you're playing at home, it's late, and you just need a few more of these completions to ice the game. That time, couldn't come away with it. It's a nice play by the defender, knocking it down. Let's see if they go back to the air on second down. Back to pass, it's Klubnik. Catch over down the middle. I love an offense that wants to stay aggressive. Even when you've got the lead late in a game like this, right, you still try to find your playmakers and get them the ball in space, and that is exactly what this offense is doing. Ball's at the 25. They're in field goal range, but they love to convert this third and short. They'll try to get the first through the air. Can't make the connection on third down thanks to that tough, hard-nosed pass defense, and now it's fourth down. After that incompletion on third and short, it's going to be an interesting decision for the head coach because I know he believes in his guys to go get it here on fourth down and pad the lead, but if you kick a field goal, you make it a two-possession game here in the second half, and I think that's the right decision. They'll try it on the ground. What a nifty run there to pick up the first down. Well, the defense didn't blitz. They didn't have everybody in gaps, and the offensive line took advantage at the point of attack, getting some push, opening up a hole, and the offense ripping off a nice run there. Finally, some signs of life from this offense, which has done nothing in the second half. It's first and ten. Got it behind the line. It's grinding screw. That completion gets them inside the 10, and the defense is running out of room to defend. This offense is not letting up, guys. They've got a lead here late, and they are still taking shots. They're still looking for explosive plays. This defense just has not had an answer here all game long. Operating in the red zone here on second down. They'll run it out of the shotgun. He steps and powers and works his way. They finally get him down at the two. I love when players understand situations, and they understand where the first down marker is, and they understand where I got to get to. A lot of people you'll see run north-south and try to bounce out wide and make big plays. Sometimes it's not about making big plays. Sometimes it's about getting that first down to make sure I get an extra set of downs instead of trying to make those big touchdown runs. A strong tackle and wrap-up from the junior. And this is where the offense just breathes. Just take your time, huddle up. I'm in absolutely no hurry. I got the lead. I want to continue to run that clock. No false starts, no penalties. Let that clock tick down and then punch it in the end zone to add to this lead. To the air, it's Klubnik using his feet to buy. And he's loose and he'll take it to the house. Touchdown, Clemson. Now they've got a little breathing room. They are in firm control of this game, guys, but you never want to let up in a rivalry game. Because it only takes one play. We know how much of a factor momentum can be in these types of rivalry games, David, so this game's still far from over. And this is where my leadership and my experience comes into play. When you got guys that have been through these fires, been through these rivalry games, you know the swings happen quick. Now you got to swing it back your way. up for the PAT. And the extra point is true, and they have a two-touchdown lead, up 14 in the fourth. That is what they mean when they say ball control, a 14-play touchdown drive. And they close the deal, pushing their way inches into the end zone. On the move from inside is five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. And Georgia ready to go back to work on offense. As it turns out, the fumble on that last drive set up the touchdown, David. And there's no bigger stat in football than turnovers. You turn the football over, they turn it into points. Jesse, that is not a recipe for success. Good news, though, they get another chance, right? They can make amends with this drive right here. That's all that's important. You've got to execute and you've got to lock in. 
And the incompletion brings up a second down for this offense. He's looking to throw. They'll run the screen. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-game land. Screen pass just not working there. You figure at this point of the game, trailing, you're going to have to be more aggressive and take some shots. You usually run screen passes when you think there's going to be a blitz, but because the defense has the lead, they're just sitting back and playing big zones. On third and long, try to convert through the air. He'll take a deep shot here. And they wanted it all on third down, but now dealing with fourth down. After that incompletion, fourth and long now on your own side of the field, you're trailing in the fourth quarter. What's your go-to play call here in the passing game? Where is the matchup that you trust in to come up with a big one to give yourself a chance to stay alive and win this game? On fourth down, looking to pass. Fires to the wideout. Makes the catch past the sticks. And they finally get him to the ground. An easy conversion for this offense. Defense not exactly the perfect fourth down call there. Man, if I'm a defense, I got to find a way to get some more pressure on the quarterback or disrupt their timing and their rhythm. I can't give them these big chunk plays through the air. I got to be maybe a little bit more aggressive or do something a little bit different. Back to the air one more time. Throws to the wideout. Got him downfield. And he found all kinds of room and got it down to the 28. The Bulldogs have it with a first and 10. On the move, it's back. Man downfield. He gets it all the way down to the five yard line. A terrific catch and run before he stops. The offense gets a quick timeout at this point. Every second is precious. They want to throw it. He makes a grab. He gets it in. Touchdown, dogs. And listen, still a ways to go, but great job by this offense getting you back in the ball game. Now, we got a one possession game. We got our score. We did what we're supposed to do. Now, how do we get this stop? Now, the defense has to come up big and get me the rock back. And man, this quarterback has had a day. With that pass, he goes over 300 yards on the day. Really nice job executing, putting up some yards today. Pretty good day for the young man. The AT unit on the field. And with the extra point, they're down a touchdown, 21-14. They put together an 81-yard drive, and the score comes on a five-yard touchdown pass. Trailing by a touchdown here in the fourth, they'll try to get it back with the onside kick. That's why they call them the hands team. They're able to secure the onside kick. Clemson has their paws on it, and they'll send out the offense. These are the games. These are the moments. This is the opportunity for the finish that people remember in rivalries like this one. And those highlights that are shown for years and years to come, these big-time moments, Palmer, coming down to the wire, who steps up and makes the big-time play? And this is why you lift the weights in the offseason. This is why you do all the gassers and all the sprints. For moments like this, game on the line in one of the biggest games of the year. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. After the strong run on second down, third down coming. Do they do it again? Looking to throw, it's Klubnik. Wide open downfield. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. That's tough on the defense there. Third down, you're in zone coverage. Everybody's watching the quarterback, and you're trying to make a break on the ball, but he just got it out of his hands too quickly, and the throw was too accurate. Really nothing you can do there, and it's now a fresh set of downs. And the quarterback's just going to take a knee. 